2020. <laughs> it was a crazy wild roller coaster of a ride with lots of highs and many lows as it was for I'm sure most of everyone. <laughs> but let's talk about 2021. So every year I pick a word for the year. Last year I picked the word balance because I knew that I needed to balance my work life and my school life and my home life and it was just my word for the year. I would say 100% that I did a lot of balancing this year. I wouldn't say I was 100% um, successful in balancing everything, but I did balance and I'm proud of myself for doing so. This year I have chosen a new word and my word for the year is bloom. And I wanted to kind of show you guys this. I actually got this little book from the dollar spot at Target. I've decided not to buy myself a personal planner because I used to be 100% a paper planner girl. However, with having to do lesson planning and all of that, just having more than one like planner is too much for me. So I bought this notebook at the dollar spot. It was $3. Um, mine got wet. Unfortunately, a cleaner that I was buying, a method cleaner was leaking and I just decided to keep it. I'm not that picky, but anyways, it says 2021 on it. That's the back cover. It was three dollars and it is literally a notebook it has the monthly spreads in the front and then i'm going to turn to a blank page this is what the inside looks like it's just a notebook it is it has like the months and then one through 31 so you can kind of like highlight what day you're on and then in the back it has some like graph paper and yeah that's it it's literally a notebook so what i have found that has worked best for me um in the past couple of months just with planning is to just make a to-do list like it's a, like a running large long master to-do list and i just check things off from there and that just helps me i write appointments on there i have a big family calendar i also write appointments on my meal plan i write on a whiteboard and my kitchen so that's not things I need to write down in this notebook this is literally just a to-do list of everything I have to do just for work for well, it used to be for school until I finish for you know the household for the kids cleaning anything I have to do I just write this big long to-do list I'll show you one so this is last week so that's a to-do list for last week and I got most of it done except for this video <laughs> So I just, that's been working for me. So I decided to go with this notebook. So what I wanted to show you guys is um, I did write my word for the year in here. My word is bloom. Nothing beautiful, guys. I just kind of wrote it. And I wrote some Bible verses um, that just made me think of blooming. And the reason I chose the word bloom is because, guys, I've been a mom for 13 years now. <laughs> and I have identified as only mom for for as long as i can remember even as a teacher um talking to my colleagues and things i'm a mom like <laughs> i i'm a teacher but i'm i'm a mom and that's all i've ever been and i'm ready to kind of just come out of that shell and find me again like who is delise who is she like other than the fact that i'm a mom to three beautiful children who am i and i can't say i remember that person anymore um because I've just been mom. I don't do much for myself. Um, and I'm not saying that's a bad quality because being selfless is something that I'm proud of. The fact that I can serve others makes me happy. Um, but I, I need to find me again. And just getting the surgery and getting my master's degree and just everything from 2020 just showed me that I'm ready to bloom. I'm ready to be to find me, to bloom into me. Am I still gonna be a mom, 100%? I will still always be mom first. Um, but I'm just ready to bloom. So that's why I chose that word for this year. Um, I have lots of goals, but I, I kinda don't, I, I don't set like 
definite, um, really specific goals because I find that so hard to live up to and that's just not something I want to stress myself over. So um, I did make a list of my goals in here and I do want to read them to you guys. I have eight different um, categories for my goals. Um, personal, financial, marriage, YouTube slash social media, career, health and fitness, motherhood and home. So these are just kind of like the things that I want to do in those areas. So I will start with personal. Um, guys, I don't have anything to hide here. I don't have anything like super personal. In 2019, I started listening to more audiobooks. Guys, I used to be a reader. I haven't read a book since my big kids were like five or six years old. Um, so it's been a while. Um, and I just, I started listening to audiobooks in the beginning of 2020. That lasted from January to March. Um, <laughs> once we went on quarantine, I stopped mostly because I was just home all day with everybody and I just couldn't find the time or figure out how I could read or listen to books when I was entertaining an entire family, you know? And, um, I used to listen to the audiobooks when I would drive the kids to their activities, um, picking up kids from school just anytime after work. And I loved it. So one of my goals for this year is just to read and listen to more books and I'm so happy to say it is today is the 11th yeah today's January 11th and I just finished a book on audible and I am reading another book so I was listening to where the crawdad crawdad <laughs> where the crawdad sing on audible it's a fiction book highly recommend it's a wonderful book um, I was listening to that on Audible. I finished it and then I am actually reading through the Dave Ramsey Total Money Makeover book. Um, so I'm, you know, actually reading that one. It's going to take me a little while longer than listening to it because what I found is the best time for me to listen to these books is I put in, you know, my Bluetooth headphones and while I'm doing dishes and cleaning up the kitchen in the evening, I listen to it. Um, Today I drove Melody to the vet and while I was waiting outside in the vet's office for them to bring her back out, I listened to the book. So just things like that. So I'm just, I have to make time for these things, you know, and that's part of blooming. It's making time. I need to make time for myself. So for personal goals, I would also like to journal or track my mood daily. And I have been doing this. I found this app called Dailyo and um, I'll put it up on the screen here it looks like and it kind of it's just a journal and it asks you how you feel and then it asks you like habits you might have done that day so um, you know it asks you if you did any hobbies if you how you slept what kind of food you ate um, did you exer exercise did you meditate or pray give donate you know listen practice kindness um, any chores you might have done, things like that. And it's totally edible. It's free, guys. And it's awesome. So I have been tracking that daily. And I'd really like to look back next year um, in 2022 and just see what my year looked like as far as moods. And um, see if I can find a pattern. Because, you know, I struggle with anxiety. I have had postpartum depression before and just regular depression. Um... I've been through some rough things in life, you know? And I would like to see if there's a pattern to when my moods are really low and things like that. Um, okay. Number three for personal goals is to make time for self-care. And by this, I mean making time to actually straighten my hair, um, which is not perfectly straight because I had an evening of teaching and <laughs> whatever. Um, straighten my hair, you know, um, follow that skincare routine that I try to set so many times, but I am most of the time way too tired to care. Um, you know, do my nails once in a while, soak my feet, you know, things like that. Just self-care, just things for me and make time for them because my, my excuse has always been, I don't have the time. And now it's time for me to make the time. Um, another personal goal I have is to make sure that I'm attending church weekly. Um, 
my church is doing live streaming via Facebook. So we have been able to just connect that to the television and attend mass that way. And I want to continue to do that weekly um, for myself, but also for my children so that they can continue to build their relationship with God. And last but not least is to continue to do a devotional. And I try to do a daily devotional every morning. <laughs> It hasn't been going great this year and it's only the 11th. Um, I have skipped quite a few days, but I'm catching myself up and doing the best that I can. Um, sometimes I just have to get up and run, <laughs> you know, get up and do a million things in the morning because um, somebody needs something. And I'm trying to put, you know, my devotional first. And it's a work in progress, guys, but that's why it's a goal because I'm not perfect at it. I heard somebody say in one of their videos, I wish I could remember who, um, word before world. And that's really where I'd like to be um, by the end of this year. All right, financial goals, uh, build a bigger savings. I think everybody kind of has that goal. I would like to build up our savings. Um, I'm reading through the Dave Ramsey book because I'd like to adapt some of his theories and see how it works. So that's actually one of my goals is to try out the Dave Ramsey um, Total Money Makeover. And um, we have, you know, our school debt. My husband and I both got master's degree with master's degrees within a year of each other. Um, <laughs> so we have school debt. So I'd like to pay off some of that debt. Okay, marriage goals. Um, I'd really like to have a monthly date night. We've tried to do this so many years in a row we say every month we're gonna go on a date um, but finding a babysitter has always been really tough on us especially once we had Vincent because he was a baby and it's a tough ask to ask somebody to take care of a baby at, at least in my opinion anyways um, the only family we have here is my brother-in-law like I said he's a bachelor and he works a lot and it's just you know it's not feasible but um, Kelly's is gonna be 13 now and she's proven to be a great babysitter and I feel comfortable enough to be able to go on date nights you know once a month and leave her responsible for the boys so monthly date nights and um, I put on here communication reset um, I think every couple kind of struggles a little bit with communication issues and I think we just need to reset the way we communicate with each other um, and that will do wonders for our relationship not that we're like in trouble or anything, but just, I feel like it would be good for us. All right, so for my career, I um, would like to set routines in my career. And what I mean by this is set routines for grading work and set routines for lesson planning. It's a lot of time, lesson planning. A lot of times I'm scrambling like the day before lesson plans are due <laughs> to get those lesson plans done and to get everything done. And then I'm scrambling the day before the lesson um, to get all those materials together. And virtual learning has been so different. I've learned so much and I'm so excited about it, but it, it's been an adjustment to not be in my classroom. In my classroom, I was able to have like I have drawer systems where I set out worksheets and copies and like I had things organized <laughs> um, and plus I was very you know fortunate to have a para pro as a kindergarten teacher um, but I really want to set routines to getting that stuff done so I'm not working on the weekends and just so I feel more prepared and you know this is a goal for virtual learning but whenever I do go back to the building um, which I don't know when that will be, but whenever I do go back to the building, I'd like to continue those routines. Um, so I'm not staying super late at work or having to go in super early or, you know, planning over the weekends, things like that. And for grading as well, because sometimes I kind of just let the work that I need to grade pile up, especially now with Seesaw is what I'm using as my platform for students to do their work. I let it pile up quite a bit and I want to just set a routine for when I'm taking those grades, inputting those grades, things like that. And then um, I'd like to use more whole body teaching. I do use it as much as I possibly can when I can, um, but I need to use it more. So I'm trying to figure out more ways to use it and how to 
incorporate it more virtually, but also once I get back in the classroom, like I want that to be the way that I teach because I just find it to be so successful. And health and fitness. So I have on here water, water, water. So I did have surgery. Um, bariatric surgery is no joke, guys. <laughs> I cannot drink water the way I used to. It's so hard. Um, it fills you up so quickly. You can't take big gulps. It's just like, it's a hassle. It's a hassle. And I just want to figure out how to keep my water intake up like it should be. It's not where it should be. And I can feel it in the exhaustion in my body. I can feel it. So I'm just trying to get that intake where it needs to be. Um, I'd like to exercise five days a week. Um, happy to say that I have stuck to this goal so far, guys. I am doing a challenge with the American Cancer Society. I will leave the link down below for my fundraiser if you would like to donate. I would so appreciate it. I am trying to raise funds for the American Cancer Society. And in doing so, I have challenged myself to walk 100 miles in the month of January. I am currently at, I am going to tell you guys, let's see. I am currently at, today's the 11th, 38.6 miles. So I haven't walked today. <laughs> I haven't logged my miles for today. I will be doing an indoor walk. It was a rainy, cold day today, so there was no way I was doing an outdoor walk. Um, but yes. I am gonna walk 100 miles. I've gotta hurry up, it's 11 p.m. Um, <laughs> and so if you'd like to, so if you would like to donate to that, please click the link down below. Um, any little bit counts for such a great cause. So I am exercising. I've actually been exercising more than five days a week, which has been great for me. And I'm actually loving it. And then my next goal is keep my protein up. This is a big thing that they harp on you when you have the surgery is the protein intake, protein intake, protein intake, and I'm horrible at it. So I wanna get better at that. And motherhood. So I wanna have more one-on-one -on -one time with each of the kids. Um, I have three kids, you know? And especially with the bigs, it's hard to kind of separate time for them kind of feel like when I do things with them, they're together. They're, it's n not usually, you know, apart or I have one big kid and the baby. Like it's just, that's just the way it is. So I wanna do one -on more one-on-one -on -one time with them. And then I have patience, patience. <laughs> I'm a full-time mom, a full-time working mom. Um, my patience runs thin. I am literally dealing with kids from sun up to sun down, sun down and not just my own kids you know I've got 26 students and then I've got my three kids and my patience runs thin sometimes and I'm just trying to practice having more patience with my personal children and home I want to stick to my cleaning routines they've been great so far <laughs> um, but I want to really stick to them and just solidify them also, um, just keep up with the maintenance of the house and things like, you know, cleaning out the dryer vent, um, changing out filters, things like that. I just want to keep up with those things a little better. And last but not least, I left this for last on purpose, guys. This video is getting super long. I have YouTube slash social media, and this is kind of the what to expect from my channel, <laughs> which I've already failed at. <laughs> so I'd really like to do one video a week. And last week was a bust for that because this was supposed to be last week's video, but who knows, maybe I'll have two up this week. Wishful thinking. Um, I'd like to get to one video a week. Um, doing videos is something I enjoy. I do YouTube as a hobby. It is a passion of mine. I love to share. I love to help other people. And so I want to get to one video a week at the very least. Um, and then um, I want to post more on Instagram. I have been trying to post one picture a day for a year. I want to see if I can stick to that. And that's basically it, guys. I just want to do more for me. And even YouTube, YouTube is for me. It's something I do for me. So having one video a week would feel really great. Anyways, guys, 
I feel like I just talked your ears off. So hopefully you made it to this point of the video. And if you did, you are the real MVP and I appreciate you and love you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, I hope that you hit that subscribe button and stick around. And if you are a returning follower, thank you for sticking with me and for waiting so long for me to put out new content. I love you guys so much. Have a great and blessed day and I will talk to you later. Bye everyone. In this dream forever.